First, the CEO of the controversial 3D printed gun company here in Austin, Defense Distributed, steps down. The company today announcing Cody Wilson resigned last Friday. All of this after his arrest for sexual assault of a child. KVU's Jenny Lee joins us live from the company's headquarters in North Austin, where the nonprofit's new leader made her debut today. Jenny? Hey, Mike, the new director says Cody Wilson is no longer part of the company, and she says he will not be part of the future either. Cody Wilson tendered his resignation on Friday evening to focus on personal legal affairs. With that, Paloma Heindorf introduced herself Tuesday as Defense Distributed's new director. The legal affair she's talking about, a sexual assault charge filed against Cody Wilson less than a week ago. Austin police say Wilson paid a 16-year-old girl $500 for sex. Paloma says that controversy has not impacted sales of the company's blueprints of 3D printed guns. We actually haven't seen a huge huge effect. She says they currently have about 3,000 orders on file. The new director wouldn't comment on Wilson's arrest or how her employees reacted to it, just that her team is resilient. I didn't need to say anything. I told them that I would do my job and they said they'd do theirs. That's all anyone needs to do here, I think. The former VP of operations at what she calls DD says her leadership at the company will be different than her predecessors. I'm a different person. I'm, I'm not trying to replace him as a character. That's not my aim. Um, and I think everyone understands that. But she says she does plan on carrying out the same vision for the company. Now, Heindorf says while Wilson was an important figurehead, Defense Distributed is about more than a man. She says this company is about an idea, idea that she is fully behind, as well as the rest of the employees here. Reporting live in North Austin, Jenny Lee, KVU News. And as Jenny mentioned, Defense Distributed continues to sell blueprints for 3D printed guns after a federal judge's order blocked them for giving the files away on the company's website. Last month, then CEO Cody Wilson said the company will continue to sell their blueprints by emailing them and mailing them on USB drives. The company is still facing legal challenges. Lawyers for Defense Distributed said they have raised $400,000 for their legal fund.